Hey guys, Poopsy here, and yeah, here's a battle with Espeon2812 for, um, Iloko Rules Tournament. Yeah, this was, a uh, semi-finals, so will I advance to the finals, or will I be stuck back in the, um, yeah, not make it? This is the battle that determines it. So, I lead off with Crobat, I lead off my A-Self. I'm expecting some kind of, something along the lines of Brave Bird. And I stupidly go for Stealth Rock. I should be expected that a ton. And for some re extremely odd reason, my opponent goes out into a um, Skarmory. So I was like, okay, I'm going to switch down. I go for Fire Blast. And since I deeply hate Skarmory, it's like the worst things ever, I'm going to annihilate it with a Fire Blast, which made me happy. So, yeah. So the Skarmory is dead, and that could have been a huge problem. Anyway, my opponent goes out into a Lucario. And it goes for a Dark Pulse here. I'm just going to stay in his fodder and set up my rocks. But, um, yeah. Lucario flinches my uh, SF so I can't do that. So I go out into my Vaporeon to take the Dark Pulse or whatever. And my Vaporeon does take that very well. Very um, pleased with how well it took that. So, um, my opponent's going to go out and do a, um, Crobat thing. Yes, a Crobat. And I'm just going to go for a, stir a Surf. I was no I knew it that would come back in, but I, just, I realized that Hidden Power Electric isn't as powerful as Surf, so I just went for a stab Surf. So the Surf is actually a two KO, I believe. Yes, it is. All right, it's it actually it's almost a two KO. It's very short of a two KO, and he, he was able to get off a Toxic. So yeah, my opponent switches, I guess, to, just to have his good fodder and um brings in their uh, uh Starmie thing, and I know that the Starmie is probably going to either. T-Bolt, or, yeah, T-Bolt, yeah, T-Bolt, or something else, like maybe Hand Power or something, so I just stay in, I just kind of just to scout if it's Scarf or Life Orb, and apparently it's Life Orb, so now my plan's perfect, I can just stay in here and go for Hand Power Electrics and let it take out, basically sacrifice my Vaporeon to kill his Starmie, so yeah, my Vaporeon's taking some massive damage, and it's just going to die off to a Psychic, so, but the Starmie's going to go down to Life Orb Recoil, so, here I'm 100% positive he's going to go out into his lead Crobat, so I just go on my Mammo. And he does go out into his Crobat, so it's going to die to a um, Ice Shard, so that was very, very good. So, yeah. The Crobat dies, and I am now sitting out here with, I think, I'm, I'm banded, so I'm locked in Ice Shard, so I have to switch because my opponent brings in Luke. So here I, I know it's going to go for a fighting attack, at least that's what I'm thinking. So, um, I stay in, I take the Aura Sphere to the face, and I die. It comes Star Raptor. I know, um, I don't really know, but I'm pretty sure he's gonna switch. I'm it's right here. I'm I'm pretty sure he's uh, I think scarfed. So I predict to switch into something that's, that could resist the um the fighting close combat, or whatever. But for some, but they my opponent brings in a Rachi, which um confused me for some weird reason. And it's gonna I switch out in my memo predicting an ice punch. And here I thought I could live one ice shard because I I, I previously had a battle where I fought a Rachi that iron headed me when I had like half health and I lived. But I guess this thing's life orb, so I really can't live this. So I really disappoint me, so I just basically waste my mammoth swine for no reason. But now I, I can safely bring in my Staraptor and attempt to kill it. So I go for a close combat and that's a dead Rachi. So the Rachi's out of my way now. And I'm just sitting here with a I think um pretty high health um Staraptor. I probably brings out my um uh Lucario and because that speeds me here, I know it's, um, I think scarfed. Yeah, I know it's scarfed because that sped me. I think I actually have a speed tie with it if, if it's a uh, plus speed nature. But so yeah, I already got my um, Metagross to uh, take the Ice Punch because I know it's scarfed now. And I go for an Earthquake. Any my opponent brings in a Snorlax. So yeah, I was very. All I have left is this thing. So if I play this correctly, I can win. So I bring out my Tyranna Bow, which is my last poke. That he hasn't seen yet. My last poke off to my team, and my opponent goes for an earthquake. <laughs> I was not expecting an earthquake. I was actually thinking that they would go for, I guess, um, possibly a fire punch, but yeah, I don't know, or crunch or something. But anyway, I could resist the fire punch or crunch. That's why I went into it. But actually, has earthquake. So aside from that, I really wish I had crunch on this thing. I actually have dark pulse because this is boa, and my opponent is just gonna go for an EQ while I try to hack it to be with dark pulses. And hoping for some flinches, I guess, maybe. 
I am just staying in spotter here, basically, because I just need to get that safe switch into my Metagross to be able to take it out with one Meteor Mash to win this. So if I can just wither this thing down to some a certain amount of health, I can win this. So I just keep on tr going for Dark Pulse. Um, no, no flinches or crits yet. And my opponent's just going to go for an EQ, and that is going to knock out my Tyranitar. So I go to my absolute last pull here, which is my Metagross, or my Gross or whatever you want to call it. And... I was not sure if I or could, would, would take it, so I'm going to risk it and go for me to a mash. If it hits, basically I win. So let's see if it hits. It hits. So, um, that was, um, and it's a good game here. So that was a good game. Espeon 2812. That was a very good match. I enjoyed it. Very close. Very amazing. Um, yeah, well, um, I just wish me luck in the finals of Ido's, Ido Loco's tournament. So, um, yeah, I'm going to nerf the rest of the battle now. So he brings in his scarf to Lucario and he goes for an earthquake. Not gonna kill me, and I just go for an um, earthquake of my own, and that's going to knock out Zakaria. So yeah, good game. Wish me luck in the finals, guys. Give me some support, whatnot, and that. I'll see you guys. Say bye. Okay, so the comment question of the day today: Have you ever made it into a tournament where you're in the finals? Because this is the first tournament I, I think I've ever made it in the finals. I think I've only been in a, a select amount of tournaments. I think I went in spades, and I made it to like round three, and that was it. So yeah. Um. If you ever got answer the question, if you guys have been a tournament, um, comment, rate, subscribe, uh, subscribe my opponent, subscribe Ida Loco, um, bye.